probably not gonna work. Well, because we have no space down underneath the sink in this camper, which is there, I don't know if you can see that, but there are so many cords from the slider and then all the piping that we have no storage in this bathroom. So Jim made this for me, which is nice for the wash cloths, wash cloths, but We've decided to remove this cabinet and put in a bigger one. So we may have to modify the one we bought. But first step is to get this one out. The new one's about double the size. Yeah, the new one's double the size. So, And then we're going to paint it. Well, we're going to paint the inside of the wood and the camper. It's going to be a little bit lighter than what it was before. Well, a lot lighter. But we're not going with white because it is a camper. So there are six screws holding this cabinet in. So the bathroom remodel, we plan on replacing the mezzanine cabinet with a larger one, replacing the white or cream sink with a stainless steel sink. The reason why we're replacing the sink is we had a air freshener fall in the sink and it literally melted the bottom of it. Now how that happened, I don't know. That was over two years ago. It leaked out. Huh? It leaked out. It leaked out. And we fixed it, but it's never been exactly right. Like it's rough. So any type of soap buildup or dirt, and we clean it all the time, but it's really hard to clean. So we decided as part of the remodel, which we've already remodeled our bathroom, and we really like the shower, how it's set up now with the tile and stuff, but the mezzanine cabinet is just too small. We might as well fix the sink, and while we're fixing the sink, we're going to put a new faucet, and then we're going to paint the wood in here to match the rest of the camper that we're going to do. So that's what the bathroom remodeled. Those we're calling a bathroom remodel. Yeah, what we're calling a bathroom remodel isn't a full remodel. Because the shower is perfect. We're not messing with the shower. All we're doing is changing the mezzanine cabinet, the sink, the sink and, the and the faucet, and then paint the wood. So, so it's a mini bathroom makeover. Got it? Nope. Nope. Did it hit you? Yeah, it's okay. Well, I can't. Hey. There's not enough room for both of us in the shower. I'll tell you on top. Oh, okay. they didn't finish the wood for like. Yeah, they didn't finish it. So surprise, surprise. Hey. So now we have a plain wall. I'm gonna save this pocket thing. Yeah because we may you use do? it. Yeah, we may use it on the other one. So I don't know if you can tell, but right down in here, this has all been melted. And with using glue begone, we were able to melt it into a shape so that the stopper fit on it again, but it's never, I mean, it's not perfect. Um, it's a little duster, but it makes it really difficult to keep clean right through there. And then down in here, I'll show you. There is just no room to put anything down there because of all the wires and cords to the slide slider and then all of the piping so it's basically a wasted cabinet so i keep my towels there so the new mezzanine cabinet is going to go up here we're going to have a place to put wash rigs underneath it and it'll be a lot uh higher and i can store more stuff in it so that'll be great but like i said we love the tile and the shower the new ceiling fan this bathroom there won't be anything else that I can think possibly that I would want to do to it
So Jim is sanding the mezzanine cabinet. Using. What are you using? Liquid sandpaper. That's what it's called, liquid sandpaper. So it is right there. Let me get a better shot. It's called liquid sandpaper. We have good luck with it on our phone cabinets. Yeah. So what it does is at least takes the finish off so that the new paint adheres to it. So he's starting with the uh, doors and then he's going to work his way to the shelves and the cabinet itself. So this is the next process before we paint it with the new color. Okay, so I had this idea of putting this inside the cabinet, but then I realized it doesn't fit in said cabinet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it down here a little ways as far as Jim can get it and still be able to screw it in so that I can hold the toilet cleaner and some spray and some extra soap in it. And then what I did in the cabinet is I had this little white bag. I don't know if you can see it in there. I Velcroed it permanently and I keep some like Alka-Seltzer Plus or whatever cold medicine, sinus medicine that are packets so they're not flying all over the inside of the mezzanine cabinet. So that made a little bit of storage. So just an idea. You can get little baggies and Velcro them in here and you can pop them out, the zip up. You can put a couple of them in there and that takes up some of that wasted space that you can't use. Some prep to the cabinet. Maybe I've sanded it now. Both with liquid and a brush. And we need to paint up the mess here. Uh, we need to put a little bit of filler in the corner from where the water leak was. It actually was doing damage to the cabinet. So, see how this works. Okay, since our RV faucet, the old one, didn't have a center hole drilled out to control the drain plug, we're going to have to cut a hole or drill a hole right here so that our new faucet's drain control, if we use it, we'll be able to go through it, the hole, and be able to control our faucet from there. So that's something we didn't think about. We didn't know anything about. We bought a different type of faucet, of course. So this is going to be drilled out right here. So this can go through it to control our drain. So now that we have the hole drilled here, right in the middle, we can set our faucet in. And our drain control slides in. So while we're waiting for the cabinet, uh, putty to dry so we can sand it the paint that Jim decided to go ahead and install a faucet that way the upper cabinet will not be in the way the mezzanine cabinet the seat doesn't come in for another week or so two weeks how's it going in here Okay, we just finished a, uh, a small project really. It was to replace the bathroom faucet and uh, it's basically pretty easy in an RV at least like ours. We use a residential faucet and it just fit fine. Um, take a look at it there. It's a lot heavier. Uh, made with basically a lot of brass, whereas the old one, plastic. there it goes. All this is plastic, all plastic pieces, even the body's plastic, the handle's plastic. And this part, back up, this part here wasn't even sealed. Yeah, nothing so sealed nothing at all. sealed at all. So, so they didn't even use silicone to seal it yeah, up when they put it down. not a good thing. Um, so it's the cheapest faucet you could possibly buy and replace it with one that costs, what, $29? Uh, that 21, I think made 10 times better. Yeah. So, so I got the 
Anyway, all you have to do is reach under there, undo your lines, turn your water off first, of course, undo your water supply lines, undo the, uh, the two screws that hold the faucet down, pull the faucet out, put the new faucet in, attach the two um, screws that hold it down, and attach your supply lines. It didn't take long. The biggest problem is it's just a small area to work with here. So for a big guy like me, it's just kind of hard. What? How do you use? Oh, we sealed it off with, uh, I mean, you can read that or not, it's called tacky tape. Polymer sealants of North America, tacky tape. Um, I just call it RV tape. We call it RV tape or whatever you want to call it. But it's just your normal stuff you put down like underneath the ceiling vent or anything like that. Windows. Windows. Sinks. Sinks. Comes in handy for a lot of stuff. And uh, it'll seal off that. If you're in a residence, of course, it wasn't moving down the road. You just use silicone. But uh, we use this tacky tape. It holds a lot better. We now have gate paint on the GoPro. Okay, so... Jim is now painting the new mezzanine cabinet for in the bathroom. We got this fancy Nancy little paintbrush. Huge. <laughs> that's called for it's called for cabinets and corners. Well, we painted the cabinet. Actually, Jim did this part. I helped him do the other part, but. And we went with a lighter color than what we started out with. But I seem to like it. Do you like it? Yes. And then there's the cabinet. It's all done. We just got to put the hardware back on it. And the reason why we changed the color is the other was a little too dark. And it gave a glow of like a, a pinkish color with the trim. Where this has a better contrast. So... As you can see so we will so as Jim finishes getting his masking tape up off the floor we're gonna assemble the mezzanine cabinet and then hang it back up what are you doing screwing in the rest of the hardware this is the last one the last floor for cabinets all painted yeah you got the cabinets done I showed them all the cabinets but I'm putting on the finishing hardware so that you can reassemble the, cab the lower cabinet and the two doors are already done. They're sitting in there. You need to put them back together for the mezzanine cabinet and then we can hang it. As soon as I figure out which piece goes where. Goes good there. Okay, so these are the pieces that you need to hang back up. And I only have one more piece of hardware. This goes in the cabinet. This is the one that goes on here. We gotta hang the cabinet before you put the doors on. Yeah, can you get to the doors? Well, the doors are done. So now okay. you just gotta hang the cabinet. I just got to this that last piece of hardware, and I'm done. I prepared the wall. I took off the little trim piece that started here so the cabinet will fit flush on the top all the way down. So it measures 24 and 3 quarters over, so I measure it 24 and 3 quarters. Cut that piece of trim. It's going to be a big cabinet, but a lot of storage. Okay, let's do it. Let's try this out. Where am I going to stand? You're going to put the screw in. Oh, I'm going to put the screw in. That's got to be good. Alright, we're ready. <laughs> go, just go. <laughs> two seconds you lost it. <laughs> two, two seconds and I lost the screw. Okay. Let's see if I can get the screw in the screw again. That's great, except for where's Michelle supposed to stand? I thought I was going to screw it. Well, either way, can't do both. Okay, well you can get it where you want it. No, it's not on. 
Yeah, it's not up there. Now it is. Hold it. I got it. Hurry. I'm not like Hercules. Okay. The bathroom is done except for the sink. We still have a stink install. So there's the new cabinet. Uh, I'm letting it dry overnight. Not that it had its final coat before I put the shelves in. But there were two shelves. So it'll make a total of three. There's white baskets still go in here and I'll show you that when this is finished. That's all been painted. That's done. The new faucet's on. And there's our hair. So we are waiting for the sink to be delivered. It's going to be two more weeks before the sink redo. Jim got the new sink in. It fit in perfect. No problem. However, there was a problem. It wasn't with the regular part of the sink. It's the stopper. Isn't that what you call that, Jim? The stopper? No. What's it called? I don't know what it's called. Okay. But he means the different ones. Okay. No. Show the problem between the two. Well, it's, it's in one's in there. This is what we bought, and as you can see, he's got holes in the side. And I'm not a plumber or anything, or even know anything about plumbing, but those holes are for sinks that have an overflow. And our sink does not have an overflow. So, I got the wrong one. So we had to go to the store again. This is one that came with the, with the, uh, with the faucet. And it has holes too, and obviously those are for overflows. And you can see the, the difference in length. So, so you got this we one. actually need that one. This one has no holes, but it's too short. So we ended up with this and an extension. So we got to use two pieces to right okay well we used that and the other problem was he just didn't have the space to work in there so he took out the panel so he took the door off and the panel that are painted so it's sitting there okay we have success underneath there and it's not leaking we wanted to show just how little room is underneath this cabinet like we said before all of the wiring to the slide runs through here plus all of the plumbing is underneath this cabinet so it's next to impossible to work in bathroom's finished there's the new mezzanine cabinet we have three baskets countertop new sink new faucet new paint job you can see new paint job the little container thing which I have tested out it actually works really well and of course the shower that we had done previously well, we hope you like our redo of the bathroom at least the new mezzanine cabinet the new sink the new faucet and the new color so we really like it so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already give us a thumbs up if you like this video we love the comments, love to hear from you, and thank you for watching.